How to share shopping cart on Amazon. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you how we can actually achieve this or if we could possibly achieve this. Because look, uh, straight away, we cannot actually share the entire thing right away. There are two things that we could do instead, which are going to work almost, you know, as good. So let's just go ahead and get started. First, I'm just going to go to here. I'm just going to search for wireless mouse. And I'm just going to add a bunch of things to my uh, to my carts, basically. So let's just go ahead and add this one, add this one. Uh, let's add all of these to my cart. Okay, so now that I have a bunch of items in my carts, we can just go ahead and click on cart uh, on the top right, and we be, will be able to basically just see them. Now, in here, there is no option to share the entire cart with somebody else unfortunately so as you can see we cannot really do this so what do we actually do instead so for example if you try to copy this it's not going to work it's just going to open up their cart on amazon it's not going to open up yours so what do we do the first method is going to be actually going through all the items and sharing them one by one to do so so let's say you have like four items then that would be like you know easy but if you have a lot of items then you, that's that could be problematic but to do so you would want to just go to your item and just click on share you should find it right down here and then you basically copy the link send that out, send it out to, to someone else and then you can just go share the other links copy them and paste them to other people and this is one way to actually share your cart with others now how do we actually you know do this in a different way it's going to be basically by creating lists and this is going to make things a lot easier for you and trust me you should start using lists um, if you want to be you know sharing your cards with people and things like that then you may consider you know creating lists for that purpose so just go to the top right corner where you will find your account and lists and you basically want to just click on create a list from here you basically just again want to click on create a list and then you want to, to just give it a name. Oh, sorry about that. So let's just go ahead and give it a name. Um, cards list or whatever it may be really. It doesn't really matter the name here. Just, you know, to be able to recognize it. And then basically you can just feel free to add the items to this list. So you can just go ahead uh, and add all the items that you actually want to this list. Now, and unfortunately, I need to note that you can't really just move things from your cart to your list, uh, except, you know, by going through the names, searching for them, and then adding them to your list. Uh, but you can't really do it, like, you know, automatically. So you can just go ahead and find whichever product that you actually want, and you can just go ahead and add it to your list um, simply. So we can just go ahead and add multiple items to our list. I'm just going to add a few, so we can just click on Add to List. Uh, and then I'm just going to, there you go, uh, continue shopping. Let's just go ahead and add another one. This is actually my card, so if you click on it, you can just go ahead and do uh, this instead. Actually, this is going to be much easier than looking them up. So continue shopping, and then just go for the next one. Uh, add to list. And yeah, it's just it's just going to take a little bit of time because at the end of the day, you will need to do this manually to each item. But anyways, I'm just going to skip ahead. Let's just say we did move them all. Now that we have all of them moved, we can just go to our list here and we can actually view all the items. And now, thankfully, we can just go ahead and click on this button here, which is send list to others. You can just go ahead and click on that. And basically, you will be able to have the ability to have someone either view only or view and edit, meaning they will be able to also add more items in. So just go ahead and click on whichever one that you want, copy link, and once they open it up in a new browser here, for example, they will find the entire cart uh, in here. So this is all for today. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.